everybody, it's Lon Seibin, and the full release of Windows 10 is still a couple of days away, at least from the time that I'm recording this video, but they have finally uh, pushed out the, um, the version of Windows 10 that's going to be made available on release day, which I've installed on my Dell. And today, uh, Microsoft announced that anyone with an Xbox One can now stream to your Windows 10 Preview Edition, which I have uh, very quickly booted up here to see how it functions. And we're going to go into uh, the Xbox app, which you can get uh, on the Windows App Store. And when you load up that app, you're going to see a little icon for your Xbox One console if it finds one on the network. And mine is running right now. I'm going to connect to it just by clicking on that icon there. You can see I've got Grand Theft Auto 5 running. I'm just going to click on Stream here. And what it's going to do is uh, go out and physically connect to that uh, Xbox. And I've got Grand Theft Auto 5 running here. And I can run this now uh, on my Dell laptop. And it seems to work pretty well. I am using the Xbox One controller with it. It does recommend that you use that. In fact, if you don't have any controller plugged in, it'll kind of pause everything and make you plug something in so you can at least play uh, the games the way they're meant to be played. Uh, so it seems to work pretty well. There is a little bit of input lag on here. So as you can see, when I push a button, there is just a slight bit of delay between uh, the time that I have it do something and when those controls uh, react to the screen. It's not bad, but it's noticeable. Um, I think they do have some room for improvement there. It just I see just feel a little bit of a, of a lag there. And it's funny because I don't usually notice these things with some of the other streaming uh, services that I'm using, the in-home streaming services like Steam and uh, the NVIDIA stuff. So there is a, just a slight little bit of lag there. Now, I do have both the Xbox One console and this computer connected via gigabit Ethernet. So that's probably the preferred way to do it. Uh, if you don't have that option, at least plug your Xbox into your wireless router with the Ethernet cable. That'll give you the best possible performance. A lot of AC wireless routers should do pretty well with this. I was testing this on AC wireless earlier uh, and it did work pretty well. You can also monitor the health of your connection here. Uh, so you can click on this little icon up here. And if you look down in the lower left hand corner, it'll give you an idea of the kind of network bandwidth we're pushing over it right now. What's interesting is I haven't seen mine go beyond uh, 10 megabits per second. It's usually hovering in the 8 to 10 megabits per second, which is a lot lower than I've seen my NVIDIA Shield console stream out inside the home. Uh, and it's also a lot lower than some of the Steam in-home streaming I've been seeing too. And I'm not sure if it's just a function of the Xbox One and what it, what it has available to do this kind of video compression for the game or not. Uh, but my gaming PC can certainly push a lot more bandwidth when I'm doing the in-home streaming than the Xbox seems to be able to do here. But you know what, if you wanted to be able to play your Xbox on a different uh, TV, you can just plug in, you know, plug your computer or your tablet into a, a television with your HDMI cable and be able to uh, stream right up here. I did check because I know some of you might ask me if I did this. I did set it to high. So we are in the high setting here. I'll switch it down to medium for a second here. We'll see if that uh, connection drops and it doesn't look like it is. I'm not sure what's going on here. Maybe there's just some uh, glitchiness going on, but I've got everything connected via gigabit right now and I'm just not seeing um, the kind of image quality I was expecting. And I was able to kind of do a little test here. If you go and look at uh, the menu and look around the edges of the icons here, you can see it's got a little bit of fuzziness around there, which means that it's compressing it pretty heavily. Uh, so I think there's still a little bit of uh, tweaking left to do here, but it does work. It works great. Uh, and again, if you're looking for a way now to finally stream your uh, Xbox within the home, you can do it. This is Lon Seibin. Thanks for watching.